here, I wondered why when people are talking about BC's carbon tax that's existed for so long, some people say it works really well and some don't. Like, is it, like, what is, do they not publish it? Like, is it not transparent? Oh, no, everything's out there. Okay. Uh, all, all of the information um, is very detailed. Canada does a really good job of detailing emissions by province, by economic sector. And uh, so what happened with BC? The carbon tax was introduced in 2008. This coincided with the recession. 2009, 2010, emissions went down everywhere around the globe because of decreased activity. So if you look at 2000, at, uh, from the point of implementation of the BC carbon tax to now, it looks like uh, emissions have gone up under that carbon tax. But that's a skewed way to look at that data. What you have to do is to pick comparable years of economic activity. So in BC, the, the, what I use is 2005, that was a, a year of strong economic performance, and 2015. The carbon tax then has been in place for quite some time. Emissions in BC have gone down by 5%. Over that same period, emissions in Saskatchewan went up by 8%. Mm -hmm. Carbon taxes work. <laughs> um, China did not uh, introduce this massive program that uh, took a huge investment to develop it um, for nothing. They, they put in this uh, cap and trade system because it's core to their plans to <coughs> actually deal with a serious problem.